All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is September the 8th. And on the agenda, I have a GSOC update, DevOps World discussion, and I think our biggest discussion will be on, on Hacktoberfest. Anything else that we should add to the agenda? All right. No, I'm good with that. Okay, so I had an action item from when Gavin joined us um, for this call uh, to do a um, monthly Jenkins newsletter. So I have initiated the um, form for that. So basically what we want to do for it to do is to look like this. So Gavin gave us the, the example that this is what Matrix does on a weekly basis. But what we're gonna do is we'll start out with a monthly basis um, update. And we're just gonna, you know, just pretty much get an update from each of the SIG uh, teams for, you know, get their update at the end of every month and post it or push it live via blog, via blog and um, their discourse channel. Uh, just posting monthly updates beginning of every month. And I'm shooting for the first one to go out in October, that first week of October. Yeah. But I think it's pretty straightforward with the example that Gavin gave us. So we'll try that and then we'll see how it goes. And then we'll tweak um, as we go along, as we get more um, experience under our belt. So I received, or I had a link. Oh, I saw, I see the link to that form. So mm -hmm. I completed that for, as the doc sig, but I think we would want Kevin Martins to do it as the doc sig. So we'd need to ask him. And Bruno, yeah. I think you'd be a good one to do the platform sig. So we may want to have Bruno answer the, the, the form there. In my case, I'm not sure that the form is an ideal format because I'm, I'm much more accustomed to writing things with markup and embedding hike up hyperlinks, but it's worth trying. And then we see what, where we go from there, mm -hmm. Alyssa. Okay. Um, so I had on here, Mark, so we have the advocacy and outreach SIG infrastructure documentation. And I thought it might be a good idea for us to get a governance uh, update as well. Yeah. And then platform and then UX. Am I missing anything else? I think those are the active ones right now. So okay. good choices. And, and certainly the SIGs that you listed are good and governance makes a lot of sense as well. Absolutely. Okay. And um, um, just adding there, depending on the season, uh, there, there are temporary uh, SIGs uh, like the GSOC one or, or the special short-lived. Uh, right, right. And maybe, maybe we put that under events or under advocacy yeah. and outreach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that is a just a subtopic of advocacy and we make sure that they covered. I agree with John Mark, you're right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think it would go under advocacy and outreach and events is like a sub bullet of that. Yep. Thank Good. you, John yeah. Mark. Um, oh, a request to promote Bay Area meetup, decline or not related to Jenkins. Is this the one that you put in, Mark? I just barely added that all this. I just wanted to note that we had, had received a request from somebody, hey, please promote a, a CICD meetup, but it really had yeah. no, no no relationship direct. to Jenkins, not, not even just no direct relationship. It made no reference to Jenkins. It had yeah. no indication that Jenkins was, was going to be involved at all. And so I thought, at it's, least for me and with Gavin Mogan's agreement, we said, Let, let's not promote it. Yeah. Right. And it did, didn't look linked to the CDF either. No. Right. Not no, really. it's it's with Armory. And yeah, they are not linked with CDF, I don't think. But basically, it was general CI, CD, come eat sushi with us and talk about CI, CD. I didn't felt, I, I also felt that it didn't have anything that's specific or call out to Jenkins. So, yeah, and I think we would open a can of worms if we allow for or support this request, because we will eventually get more requests like this. Yep. Really makes sense. Um, so GSOC update, 
we are scheduling for our final jam, um, final presentation via JAM for October. Although Jean Marc is struggling with the, the four project contributors to come uh, to finalize a date, it is challenging because the contributors are back in school. So we will attempt for October. <laughs> so fingers crossed that we will have a date for, for October. Um, yeah, I, I want to hold a, a job for them to have a, a public presentation and them handing over the baton or, or to talk to the future generation uh, yeah. of uh, contributors. So uh, we'll hold it and we work hard to have a place. And I want them to present it live rather than just recording them. Well, it's, yeah. We could, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, and I think they did a fantastic job last time. So why not? This is this yep. is the closure. So it would be a good way to go out. Um, and then we will follow up with their blogs, uh, each a blog for each project after the after the Jenkins online meetup. Yep. So again, we're shooting for October for that. DevOps World, the contributor summit of the Final, almost final, pretty much final agenda is now available and I pushed it out via the discourse channel. And um, if there's anything else that anybody wants to chime in and add to that, please just go ahead and chime in. But I think we have a really good um, outline for what the day looks like. Yep. Cool. And then um, contributing to the open source workshop. So I will let Either John, Mark, Bruno, or Mark, you talk to this because I know you put in a lot of time and effort into it. Yeah, so we've got a we've got a ninety minute workshop that DevOps World will be hosting on that will help people make specific, useful contributions to the plugin of their choice. We've selected a group of twenty five plus plugins, and we're preparing answers for them so that if they can't do it they'll be able to look at our answers. So the idea is they start, they try it. And if they're successful, great. And if not, they look in the back of the book and there is the answer. And they say, oh, that's what you did. Or, oh, that's what you did. That will help them. And as a result of this, there will be a new tutorial posted to www.jenkins.io focused on helping developers do these kinds of small improvements small but valuable improvements to Jenkins plugins. Yep. Great. So look forward to people joining us in that session. Yep. We'll be uh, They'll be very, very lucky to have all session. three of you there. Oh, it will be fun. Yeah. Okay, so the next topic is, is Hacktoberfest. So Jean-Marc or Mark, I will hand this over to you. Um, well, I can, I can start and then ask for Mark's uh, uh, lights on it. So the first thing is uh, Hacktoberfest currently, everybody is eagerly waiting for the starter uh, to, to pull the trigger on the race to say. So there was a first enigmatic tweet from Hacktoberfest with just eyes is looking. So it's getting prepared, but there's no official announcement uh, yet. Everybody's uh, waiting and asking about that. So uh, we are preparing, we are thinking, getting everything ready uh, for it, but we're not going out uh, in the world uh, with any uh, uh, announcement or, or whatever. So what's been discussed here are just ideas that we've been working on uh, internally. As soon as the starter pulls the trigger for the race, uh, then we'll start to come out with uh, explanations, blog posts, and several initiatives uh, around that. Uh, Mark, do you want to add something on this introduction? Yeah, so the... the... I think the areas of interest topics are areas of interest bullets are a good one for people to understand. Um, there really are at least two different ways that people can contribute to Hacktoberfest that will help Jenkins. 
One is as a Java developer where oh, I'm interested in doing Java development. I'm a student at a university. I'm a high school student. I'm experienced with Java or not. Uh, in there, I think our best, our best path forward is use this improve a plugin do developer tutorial and guide new contributors there saying, hey, choose these. We'll need to identify which plugins they can submit to because people are willing to review their pull requests. And in this link here, you'll see a, li a link to 25 plugins that John, Mark, Bruno, and I, you don't need to click the link, Alyssa. It's, it's, yeah. It just opens a list of plugin names. It's not very helpful. But the, the, the hack, what we'll do is assign the Hacktoberfest topic to them so that new contributors can click that and choose one. And then they follow the steps in the tutorial. And the end result is a useful pull request that will, can be reviewed by people who care about and are willing to review that pull request. So the Java developer story, I think is a pretty good one here. Now, now there are other, other stories. This one is, is a simple story. There are other more complicated stories that we could consider right now. That was my first thought. Uh, and indeed the, the other idea, what we'll do Anyway, so this is very good access to try to get as much attention and uh, energy uh, on it. The other thing that we'll do when we start is uh, remind every uh, plugin maintainer and or uh, core uh, maintainer to pinpoint or prepare uh, the buffet of work that can be done for uh, newbies, but also experienced Java developer, and get them, uh, get them going. So uh, we'll talk to the maintainers to uh, to say, "Wait, well, here, uh, it's it's part of growing the community, teaching people uh, new things uh, uh, that they get prepared." I like the analogy of the buffet. Uh, Continuing on the analogy of the buffet, a big effort that we're also going to do with the maintainers is to actively weed out uh, uh, spam like uh, pull requests that are just annoying, distracting, and somewhere disrespectful uh, for, the, uh, for the work. So there will be communications aimed at maintainers that are an active role uh, in there because it's creating the buffet, but also teaching the people how to discover these new foods. So you can build a complete analogy uh, with with these things. So this is for the developer uh, part. Uh, Mark, there were there are some good ideas that have been discussed in the documentation. Sig, I believe this is a, a, a very good, very good topic for people. Right, and, and so the documentation is, is this sort of another area and another facet of Hacktoberfest contribution. Documentation contributions are, are most often even a lower bar than Java contributions, right? You can, you can do documentation contributions and have no development experience whatsoever. Um, so the doc sig has been going through and will continue to go through throughout the month of September looking to identify things that are good first issues. And those are really intended for people with no Jenkins experience. In addition, they're highlighting things with the Hacktoberfest label that are biased towards people with Jenkins experience. So there are some where, hey, I want to contribute. I've been a Jenkins user for a while. I can use my skills to help that. And, and that's a different level of, of contribution, but it requires that pre-skill. And if we get novices attempting to do those, they're more likely to generate spam or to generate non-useful content. Yeah. And then as a specific, the docs migration page um, in the developer tutorial is actually specific to documentation, but it has some of the same challenges as hiding under the Java developer topic that it needs to be done against a plugin repository where the plugin maintainer is actively maintaining the plugin. And many of the plugins that are actively maintained have already done this transition. Yeah, but there's still, uh, uh, how you say that, laggers? No, uh, people that 
that are yeah, there laggards is laggards is the correct laggards, word. Yeah. <laughs> there are still nine over nine hundred plugins that need to have this transition done. Oh, but that over nine hundred plugins is mostly the plugins that are in the the half of the Jenkins plugins pool that are have small installations or relatively low usage. But uh, worthwhile contributions just to streamline the base, clean it up. And, and making everything ready for the next iteration. So it's not lost word work at all, even if there are just a couple of, of users. So, so the documentation part. Now I'm, I'm selling here, but I'm, I'm super uh, enthusiastic about the different things um, uh, in the Hacktoberfest. Now we're, we're going to communicate about that once the race starts. So we, we, we preparing, we have ideas, we, we preparing the communications, but we wait for the start. There's no yeah. sign that it will not take place. It will take place. They're probably yeah. checking the rules. Back to you, Alyssa. Okay, uh, the next item, CDF advocacy increasing. I think, Mark, this is yours. So I know that Roxanne shared with me that she posted um, Kevin's blog, um, the Jenkins 2.361.1. And she also said that she would promote it as well. So anything else that you need to add to this? Yeah, so, so and, and I liked how they framed it. It's Jenkins turns 18. Yeah. Jenkins has reached legal adulthood. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> In the United States, Jenkins could vote if it were a person. So. Well, yeah, that's. That, very that's, good. That's, now I've seen the seen the tweets. Very good. Very good. Quote. Right. Yeah. Now the additional reason that I put this on here is that I just forwarded to Alyssa an email message from or copied Alyssa on an email message from Michelle Martineau, copied mm -hmm. Fatih Di Germanchi of some additional promotional efforts that uh, CDF is doing. Uh, they're proposing a a video series. And they've asked us to be part of that video series. Uh, I think their plan is to actually do the presentation in November with recording in late October or yeah, so late October or early November. So I've, they asked me some questions. I offered them some suggested topics. I conspicuously mentioned John Mark and Bruno on some of those topics. Congratulations to both of you. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> There are topics you're, that are already familiar to you. And so um, no topics are decided yet, but, but the conversation has started and November is the likely sharing of those with recording to happen in probably early November because I responded to Michelle that I'm out of the office until between October 10 to October 27. She said, Mark, we think we want you on the broadcast. So we'll, what if we did them after you get back? So she was, I'm okay with that too. Sounds so good. any questions on the CDF advocacy efforts? No. So I'll follow up on that with Michelle, just to make sure that we, um, that they have what they need and we stay on task with regards to dates. Great. Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, Lisa, just a naive question. Um, a little bit out of topic, but are the CDF advocacy meetings, did they start again or did I miss the invite or? No, they haven't started. Oh, they, they still. Yeah, I did ask the question, but it wasn't answered. Right. Okay. Um, they did answer my question with regards to Bevy and Meetup. Uh -huh. um, so at this time, they will, we will continue on with Meetup, keep Meetup until they decide what is important to everybody before switching over to Bevy because Bevy is much more expensive and we need to get all of our um, ducks in a row before we transition there. But as of now, it's still meetup.com. And of course, you know, Zoom, we're still gonna keep it. Okay. Yeah, and nothing more about the, um, the meetings. The regular meetings, right? Okay. Yeah. But I have enough to keep me busy. Don't don't worry about that. But I, I didn't want to miss important yeah. information, Shannon. Yeah. 
Um, just a quick note, I don't know if that should be part of this SIG meeting, but I applied to a few online conferences lately to talk about Jenkins, so maybe I'll be able to do it. I don't know the answers yet, so most of them are online conferences and also a few conferences um, that will take place in the real world <laughs> uh, next, uh, early next year. So we'll see, hopefully I'll be able to talk about Jenkins outside of my office. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, oh. keep us posted. If you do get accepted, we'd love to add you on the uh, on the calendar, for the events calendar for Jenkins. Okay, good. Okay, so we can stop the recording. Uh, I need to stop the recording. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're the one. <laughs> I'm, I'm...